welcome back to my channel. I am the Sinister One, and today I will be doing a DVD Blu-ray slash VHS for the month of January 2018. Today is February 13th, so this is uh, not too not too long overdue, but either way, I have a massive stack of DVDs and VHS that I need to get through picked up some good stuff so without further ado we can get right into it here we have um, the Midnight Movies Double Bill Psych Out and The Trip this was the last in the line that I needed to grab from the Midnight uh, Movie line and then I got the box sets to, sh to show you later on down the road so there's that one here we go with uh, Dimension Extremes uh, Night of the Living Dead that they put out uh, the 40th anniversary edition I already had it but I found it on eBay for a good price with the slip cover so you know, I had to swoop that one up and then with that one I got this uh, pretty just the disc only of Night of the Living Dead put out by Front Row Entertainment so just the disc came with that one uh, my mother she gave me uh, this edition of From Hell which I have the original one that came out with the slip box so and then here we have Night of the Living Dead reanimated. Uh, this one's like a, a movie with a bunch of mixed different types <coughs> of the artwork of Night of the Living Dead. So it looks like we got claymation, animation, you know, different types of cartoony um, editions of Night of the Living Dead. So it'll be very interesting to check this one out. Here we go with, uh, I picked up some Old Anchor Bay additions. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just start hammering out the Old Anchor Bay line as best I can. Uh, I've decided after I, I tackled the MGM Midnight Movie line that I was going to go after the Anchor Bay. So here we have uh, Kiss Me Monster. So got that one for a good price the man with the screaming brain starring Bruce Campbell this is the old Anchor Bay uh, edition love that cover art here we go with Halloween 4 uh, the return of Michael Myers the Divi Max edition this has got the orange hint to it um, absolutely love the artwork, uh, the poster art for this, with the house, the mask, you know, just very haunting, uh, childhood favorite of mine. And then here we go with the Tooth Fairy, not to be confused with Darkness Falls, this is an old Anchor Bay edition, so... Glad to find that one for a good price. Here we have another um, Italian movie titled Delirium. Contains both the uncut, uncensored international version and the alternate American version. So, definitely going to be dipping into this one. Here we go with Beowulf and Grindel. It's an old Anchor Bay uh, release. Pretty much like a, a fantasy film. And here we go with uh, Vincent Price and the Bat. So I'm glad uh, Anchor Bay did release a Vincent Price film. So that's pretty awesome. And then here we go with the top 10 media. Uh, these ones aren't really good quality. But either way, um, 
I have some of these top 10 uh, media releases. I just love the cover arts on them. Um, they're just very generic, but I don't know. There's just something different about them. Just unique in a way of a um, couple of them. You get the cover arts and you're like, wait, that's not the cover art for the first one. That's the cover art for the third one. You know, stuff like that. And here we go with another old Anchor Bay release, uh, House. This one comes with House 2 as well. But it doesn't say that on the back. So, you know, I don't know if it said it when it was brand new. also contains House um, 2, but... This one actually does contain House 2. So that's a pretty good score from the old Anchor Bay line. And then here we go with uh, The Garden with Lance Hendrickson. Another old Anchor Bay release. When the seeds of evil are planted, the ultimate horror will grow. And then another score right here. Uh, I've been looking for this one for quite some time. Hellbound, Hellraiser 2. Uh, this is the the mid company of Anchor Bay. And it's got that that logo right there. So they started re-releasing some of their old content under a new uh, logo and this was one of them. Uh, this slip box is really awesome. I have the first one. Shame on me from not grabbing them when they first came out. Uh, so I'm really glad to finally find this one out in the wild. I couldn't even get this one on eBay or Amazon. Uh, this one's long, long out of print. I mean, you could still find the copy of it, but you can't find it with the slip box. So. Got that. Here we go with the uh, old Anchor Bay Drive In. Uh, double Bills, Hell of the Living Dead, and Rats, Night of Terror. I really do enjoy Hell of the Living Dead. It's a, you know, a personal favorite of mine. Have yet to see Rats, but I believe they're. Yeah, Bruno and Matai both wrecked these ones. So, I'll be collecting the double bill line. I know these go for good money, so I think there's 13 of these. The Initiation, another old Anchor Bay line. Found it out in the wild. Scored on this one. So, this one looks really good. Another Giallo film uh, from legendary director Dario Argento, The Cat O' Nine Tales. An old Link Bay release. The Philadelphia Experiment, Michael Parr and Nancy Allen. Here we go with uh, Strazek, another old Link Bay release. This is pretty much a drama. I've never seen or heard about it and I figured Old Anchor Bay why not and then also um, I already had this copy but it didn't come with the slip cover so out in the wild I found the copy with the slip cover for a good price had to pick it up Malvolence really good slasher film Nightmare City uh, brand new still sealed also known as City of the Walking Dead. Absolutely love this cheesy zombie film. I remember back in the day I, I picked it up at Hastings uh, as City of the Walking Dead on VHS. Popped it in. The movie creeped me out, but I absolutely love this film. This is a great uh, zombie infection cheese film. Here we go with the Entity. Uh, another copy of the old Anchor Bay release. Which has the, the alternate cover art right here. So, 
And then here we go with Dead and Breakfast. Uh, unrated and Outrageous Edition. Comes with the slipcover. I have this one's like kind of like a musical. And I think that's it for the old Anchor Bay line. So, actually, nope. I got more. So here we go with uh, Night of the Living Dead. Once again, how many films does one need? This is the movie right here. Little booklet insert. This is a single edition. And then here we have the Fat Pack, which comes with the uh, original motion picture soundtrack CD with over 50 songs limited to 15,000 this was actually pretty limited on eBay so here's the film and then there's the soundtrack really good s score right here the 30th anniversary and then yet another copy of Night of the Living Dead. This is from Good Times. Um, this is supposed to be the uncut version. So I know there's a VHS at the top, the same uh, cover. It says uncut. So now we're going into the After Dark uh, originals. This is the UK line. I decided oh, I'll go ahead and pick these off out of the way. Um, I'm halfway there, halfway with these movies. So, this one's Casa Dega with the UK um, release with the certificates at the bottom. And then here we go with the After Dark Originals, The Task. Dark Circles. Prowl, Scream of the Banshee, Lauren Hawley and Lance Hendrickson in this one, Fertile Ground, Fifty One. Husk, Seconds Apart, and another one from the UK, I also have this American release, but it's the After Dark uh, release, Rogue River, this one's got Bill Mosley in it. And then housekeeping, which I did a review on body bags. Uh, this one was very, very just, I don't know, it was just really, really weird. So that's it for the After Dark. Here we go with the Western Brimstone, excellent film. Uh, Guy Pierce, Dakota Fanning. I mean, really good cast. Great stuff here. If you haven't seen this one, definitely check it out. And then here we go with uh, Friend Request. I actually saw this one before it was released in cinema. Um, your typical run of the mill. Uh, modern day teenage um, scary movie it, it, was, uh, it was okay and here we go with the favorite of mine Sin City found this one at Goodwill with the slip cover pretty much mint condition so I picked it up and then I have a friend on 
Facebook and YouTube. Spalding666 who put, it, who put out his little home uh, B movie video called Something Witchy. And I decided I'd uh, support him, send him the five bucks for the film. So, loved how he captured the uh, atmosphere of the low budget film. It was pretty cool. Pretty fun little watch. So, go check him out and support his movie. Also, I picked up uh, the Midnight Movies box sets to complete the whole uh, collection. And here we go with the Creepy Classics box set. Really love the cover art. But, when they sent me this box set, they sent me these slim lines. And some universal slim lines which do not go mm -hmm. with that box set. But I already have the films that do go with this box set. And you know I'm not gonna complain I paid thirty six bucks just to have this uh this box so I won't complain you know I got some I got four universal films that I don't currently own on DVD so that was a plus right there I'm not gonna complain too harsh because I can always put the original four that go in here uh, X the man with the x-ray eyes is one of them so there's that. Here we go with the uh, Vincent Price uh, MGM box set. Really love the the packaging. And then when you open it up, you get the two disc Vincent Price double feature of The Mask of the Red Death and Madhouse. Then you get the triple feature Tales of Terror, The Pit, and The Pendulum and the Raven so there is also another one of these I'm just gonna pick up for the cover art alone and then here we go with Vincent Price um, MGM Scream Legends so here we have Tales of Terror Twice Told Tales Theater of Blood and Madhouse Abdominal Dr. Fives and Dr. Fives Rises Again. These two are phenomenal films right here. And then The Witchfinder General, Disc of Horrors with uh, Vincent Price. It's like a special feature. And, you know, The Witchfinder General, aka The Conqueror Worm. Really, really good uh, film. He's just a, a witch hunter, and that movie was done really well. So the Scream Legends edition. And then here we have the Midnight Movie, mm, Volume 1, Monsters and Creatures box set. So the Food of the Gods. Great classic B movie. This is probably one of the best B movies ever made. Gorilla at Large and Mystery on Monster Island. Chosen Survivors and The Earth Dies Screaming. And Yangari and Conga. And then here we go, The Phantom from 10,000 Leagues, The Beast with a Million Eyes, which you have to see that Beast with a Million Eyes, that's like from, gotta say the 50s, just a very unique film, 1958, so, both from the 50s, 
creatures and monsters. And here we go with uh, Volume 2, Vampires and Witchcraft. The House on Skull Mountain and the Mephisto Waltz, which I did a review on body bags of the Mephisto Waltz, and that is a great film. Must be seen. Uh, stars Alan Alda. So... Really, really enjoyed that one. Again, the Witchfinder General, aka the Conqueror Worm. Devils of Darkness and Witchcraft. The Return of Dracula and the Vampire. And the Beast Within and the Bat People. And my dog is going crazy, so. Cut it right here. Be back with the uh, Blu rays. <laughs> Alright, welcome back. Now I'm going to be doing the Blu rays. Happy Death Day, saw this one at the cinema, fell in love with it, very uh, very original for a slasher film, loved the story, acting was really good too, I uh, don't have anything bad to say about this one, and really love the slasher, uh, the get up. And then here we go with uh, Blade Runner. 2049, absolutely love this movie, just a well done film, um, story was great, had me glued to the TV, so really enjoyed that one, and here we go with Night Watch, unrated on Blu-ray, uh, the only way to get it unrated is on Blu-ray, so have both of these on DVD and uh, Blu-ray now. Live by Night, uh, directed by Ben Affleck. Uh, really, really enjoyed this one. Really loved this one. I think he captured the gangster story and atmosphere very well. So if you haven't checked this one out, please do. Uh, I really thought it was a good one. And then here we go with Gangsterland. I have yet to see this one, so be checking this one out really soon. LA Confidential. This was a classic from the 90s. Picked this one up with the slipcover at Target for five bucks. And then got me the Ring a Lenticular Blu-ray. So had to pick this one up. Really, really love that film. And then Jigsaw, or Saw 8. So I really uh, enjoyed this one in October 2017. Uh, loved the story, I thought it was done well. Can't wait to see the next one. So yeah, I got the still book. Surprised me at Best Buy they still had them. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the 25th anniversary on Blu-ray. Classic from the 90s. Always love watching this one on TV. And then Mill Creek. Yes, again, Night of the Living Dead. Go over and see how many copies I have, because I have lost count. Leatherface. Really enjoyed uh, this Texas Chainsaw Massacre film. Uh, it was a massacre film, what can you say? People got massacred. So, really like that storyline. Love the asylum uh, part. And then Jackie Chan, The Foreigner, which I, I thought was done really well. Really good story. Um, 
I love it when Jackie Chan plays a serious role. I think he does really well. And he also has um, Pierce Bronson in it. So really good, really good storyline here. And that'll do it for my Blu-rays. Hooked up a hand stack. So on to the VHS. Okay, I'm back for my January um, updates of 2018, and this is my VHS haul, and we'll get started. Here we go with uh, Borderland with uh, Charles Bronson, so pick that one up, the Goodwill. The Last Outlaw with Mickey Rourke, one that I have not yet seen, so can't wait to put this one on. Here we go with Salem's Lot, beautiful um, condition, glad to find that one on VHS. Then here we go with Citizen X. I do believe I did a review on Body Bags channel. Uh, Max von Stowe, Donald Sutherland, Stefan Rye. Really good uh, movie. Um, based on the serial killer from Russia. And you watch this film, uh, you just see how uh, the Russians react to the Serial killings. It's pretty. It's really good. And then we have a uh, Miami Vice, the movie. So that's pretty cool. And then Marooned, Gregory Peck, sci-fi movie. Haven't seen that one. And then here we have uh, original Star Wars film. So, love that cover art. Just the way it was meant to be shown. And then here we have uh, cover got a little bit messed up. 2001 Space Odyssey. Really great. This is classic right here and here we go with the Godfather box set still sealed um, got it for 75 cents at one time this was going for 40 or 54.99 so beautiful uh, collection to have here we go with close encounters of the third kind childhood favorite of mine. My co-worker got me Satatichi. So there's so many episodes. Uh, so I can't wait to check this one out. I'm pretty much a blind samurai. But that's pretty much all I know about this one right here. So I do know there is quite a bit of these. And then we have Return of the Jedi. Great cover art. Dead Ringer. Betty Davis. So definitely good score right there. And then we have the Prodigal Son. Um, Miami Vice. Part of the first season. Let me go with uh, the James Bond comedy. So this one has uh, Peter Sellers, Woody Allen. And 
And then a score right here to Blade Runner. Just an awesome addition to have. Beautiful cover art. Recently just watched the uh, sequel that was. Oh. I'm falling over over here. Uh, Doctor Strangeland. Pretty good condition. Really love this film. Another one with Peter Sellers and uh, George C. Scott. Classic. Vampire Strikes Back. It's great. Great cinema right there. The Nanny. Another Betty Davis. This one was still sealed. Which is pretty cool. A psychological film right there. Repo Man. Another cult classic. Betty Davis, the Wicked Stepmother. Another Betty Davis here, the Anniversary. Uh, still sealed. Anchor Bay put this one out on the Hammer uh, collection. Long Good Friday. Just an excellent addition to have. Oh, fell again. Cagney. They're just falling over. Here we go with Texas Guns, a Western. With Willie Nelson. And a copy of Citizen X. Gone to Texas with Sam Elliott. And then here we go with the sequel, uh, 2010, The Year We Made Contact. I was okay for what it was. Um, I could have been content just with 2001. And then here we go with another Star Wars. Better condition. Uh, couldn't leave it there. And then here we go into the Midnight Movies. Now this, um, what I'm about to show you here, these movies were not released on DVD as a Midnight Movie. They were just released as an MGM or a, a regular public domain film. Other companies have picked these titles up and have released them uh, under their names. Um, so here we have frogs and you can see it has the logo of the midnight movies up at the top so when this one was released by MGM all it had on the DVD was the MGM symbol here and it wasn't a part of the midnight movie line but on the VHS they were so I had to collect these just to complete that the whole entire collection Frogs. Here's another one. Burn Witch Burn. High School Hellcats. The Conqueror Worm. Released on uh, the DVD as a Witchfinder General. So I thought that's pretty cool. When they re released it on VHS. They titled it The Conqueror Worm. The, Tran the Amazing Transparent Man. The Phantom Planet. I mean, look at the costume, the bees. Jesus. Another one, uh, everyone's favorite, The Incredible Melting Man. But you gotta pick up the Blu-ray, because the Blu-ray has that title right there, and I think it looks just awesome. Jesse James meets Frankenstein's daughter. Roaring Guns Against Raging Monster. Here we go with a bucket of blood. 
with Dick Miller. Jules Verne's uh, Master of the World with Vincent Price. The Quater Mass Experiment or The Creeping Unknown. The Brain That Wouldn't Die. And then Pajama Party. Alright, before these ones fall over, stack them up. Alright, so here we have a Anchor Bay release, um, Shivers, and I just did a review on the Bobby Beggs channel of this film, uh, and really enjoyed it, great stuff here. Uh, old Anchor Bay, when I started collecting uh, films, VHS films, I always used to go after the Anchor Bays when they would, um, Hastings would put them out for sale. And they'd come in these nice clamshells. Some of them would. And the insert, you know, have some text and some information about the film. So they really treated their releases back in the day with uh, pride. And I love picking up these old clamshells. You know, some of them come with different colors, and this is awesome. It's got that neon green. Matches the the art. And here's your bare bones uh, Anchor Bay release of Prom Night, Jamie Lee Curtis, Leslie Nielsen, the great classic slasher. And then here we go. I found this one for cheap. Uh, the Black Cat. AK Demon 6 and it's signed um, I got it for a decent price it's signed by the Bond girl so really really do uh, like the way I scored this one and it's probably in, it's in Greek so I could put it in the VHS player it'll probably be in in Greek, but I shall see. And get this thing closed. And it doesn't want to close for some reason. And then the last one up is frogs. Uh the big box that I I ordered for some odd reason I don't know why I ordered it but it came it was beat up pretty bad and I was like well that clamshell is is in terrible condition so I went ahead and bought the clamshell brand new of the Grinch swapped it out to give it this uh, cool green color kind of go with the film so I thought it turned out good looks great on the shelf and that is it that's all I have to to show people um, can't get this thing closed it just doesn't want to go but anyways thanks for calling or Sorry, I'm getting a freaking text over here. We'll see you next time.